Andrew Buckle. Let's do I'm just going to show you how you can create some interesting colourful mezzo tint designs using the mezzo tint filter in Photoshop, Photoshop CC 2014. Uh, particular, you can also do the same with Photoshop CS6, etc. All right, first thing to do, I'm just going to go over now to an image and then I'm just going to go for layer. I'm just going to add the mezzo tint to a layer. So I'm not actually going to do apply it to the actual image. So there's a new layer and I'm just obviously going to fill it with a colour and I'm going to go for so like yellow, be fine. Now of course you could actually apply multiple different layers and apply multiple different mezzo tints. So I'm just going to go with this one, filter and pixelate and mezzo tint if a mouse goes onto it. There it is. Right, I'm going to go for the grainy dots. There's a number of options. You've got short strokes, long lines, and so on. Some work better than others, but uh, I think grainy dots is quite a nice one. It gives a nice sort of much larger sort of dot than sort of add grain or something like that. Okay, so once you've actually done that, next thing you can do is actually go down to blur and Gaussian blur. Should make it even bigger sort of noise grain design. Click OK. Another thing you can do also to create a sort of more sparkly sort of effect instead of just going with sort of like this sort of dark. So you can actually go with filter, other and maximum. You can actually see what happens is you end up getting this sort of light, really sort of nice glowing sort of grain, which you can't really obviously achieve with the other filters unless you obviously go through this sort of thing. So just click OK. So once you've actually got that now, of course, you've got uh, the option as it's a layer. You can, of course, actually duplicate the layers, maybe create multiple layers, blend them in different ways, maybe change the colours, etc. Apply different blurs. But you can also now just go to there, darken, which doesn't really create the rest of images. I quite like pin light. That's quite a nice one. That creates a sort. Of, but of course, you've still unfortunately got you've got a nicer effect of grain, which is great, say for like a texture. But say you've got. Uh, Overlays, so you can actually still see the image, so you can still got that there. Now, once you've actually done that, of course you've got a nice mezzo tint, but it's a nice blurry mezzo tint. But you can also modify the color, so you can actually go to image and adjustments, or you could apply obviously adjustment layer, and just go to hue and saturation, and then you can modify the end result. Maybe create a sort of change the lightness. And maybe saturation as well to create a sort of very unusual mezzo tint effect. Okay.